Good day, students! Another week, another video lesson for Grade 9 Science. We are now in Quarter 3. Weeks 3 and 4 lesson is about energy from the volcano or geothermal energy. Let us have our learning objective. At the end of this video lesson, you are going to illustrate how energy from volcanoes may be tapped for human use. Get ready to learn our lesson for today. So, keep on watching! Have you ever been in a hot spring? We love to enjoy the soothing and energizing effect of water from hot springs. Have you ever wondered where the heat from the hot spring came from? Since our country is a home to more than a hundred volcanoes, energy has been topped from them. Recently, the Philippines ranks third in the world's production of geothermal energy. According to the Department of Energy, 14.4% of the country's total power generation is produced from geothermal energy. The production of electricity from geothermal energy is cheaper than the electricity production using natural gas, coal, and hydropower. But what is geothermal energy? The Earth is believed to be extremely hot from within. This heat from the Earth's interior is a source of energy called geothermal energy. Geothermal came from the Greek word geo which means earth and therme which means heat. Therefore, it is the heat from the earth. Geothermal energy is the heat that is stored deep within the earth that originates from the melted magma and the decay of radioactive substances. An example of a geothermal energy is shown in your screen right now. Most geothermal energy resources are usually found in the areas around plate borders where most volcanic eruptions and earthquakes happen. In addition, areas with active volcano have high geothermal energy system. This is because the hot molten rock materials called magma located under the Earth's surface may heat the circulating ground water. Now, how is geothermal energy generated? Geothermal energy is generated in two ways. The first way is geothermal power plants. It is where heat from within the Earth changes water into steam, which turns steam turbines that generate electricity. Geothermal power plants are found in places where it is particularly hot just below the surface, such as near a group of geysers, hot springs, or volcanic activity. They generate energy by carrying heat to the surface via fluid circulation through various types of mechanics. Now, let us discuss the steps on how to generate electricity on a geothermal power plant. The first one, Wells are drilled deep into the earth to pump steam or hot water to the surface. Second one, when the water reaches the surface, the drop in pressure causes the water to turn into steam. Step 3, the steam spins a turbine which is connected to a generator that produces electricity. Step 4, the steam will go to the cooling tower. It will cool down and condenses back to water. And last step, the cold water is pumped back into the earth to begin the process again. That is how geothermal power plant works. Let's have it again, class. Let us use another picture. Again, wells are drilled deep into the earth to pump steam or hot water when the water reaches the surface the drop in pressure causes the water to turn into steam the steam spins a turbine that is connected to a generator that produces electricity step 4 cooling tower cools down the steam which condenses back to water and lastly 
the cold water is pumped back into the earth to begin the process again. Take note of those steps. Now, because Philippines is located in the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire, it has many volcanic areas that can be utilized for geothermal energy production. Here are some geothermal power plants found in the Philippines. Tiwi Geothermal Power Plant in Tiwi Albay. Makban or Makiling Banaho Geothermal Power Plant located in the borders of Laguna and Batangas or Kalawan Laguna. Here are other geothermal power plants in the Philippines. Next is the flowchart which describes how energy is transformed to generate electricity in a geothermal power plant. Thermal energy from inside the earth. When we say thermal energy, it is also called heat energy. It is produced when a rise in temperature causes atoms and molecules to move faster and collide with each other. Next, mechanical energy in a turbine. And then, mechanical energy of a generator. When we say mechanical energy, it is the energy that is possessed by an object due to its motion or due to its position. And lastly, we have electrical energy. Electrical energy is a form of energy resulting from the flow of electric charge. Next, the second way to generate geothermal energy is through geothermal heat pumps. It removes the heat from the fluid in the earth connection, concentrates it, and then transfer it to the building. Let's take a look of this photo. Geothermal heat pumps harness geothermal energy from beneath the earth and take advantage of this resource for heating or cooling of building or houses. Amazing, right? Now, let us have the advantages and disadvantages of using geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is renewable. It can be accessed and harvested anywhere in the world. Also, the water is replaced by rainfall, and the heat is continuously produced by the earth. The geothermal reservoirs found within the earth are naturally replenished, making it both renewable and sustainable. Geothermal energy is more environmentally friendly for keeping a low carbon footprint. Pollution associated with geothermal energy is relatively minimal compared to the use of fossil fuels. On the other hand, once a geothermal power plant has been built, there will be a great chance to spend more on the different processes, facilities, and tools to be used in this site. Also, it poses some environmental problems because there are still other gases stored deep within the earth which are released into the atmosphere during digging. It may also require proper supervision to maintain its stability and sustainability considering geothermal fluids contain low levels of toxic materials that need to be disposed of. Being situated in the areas near volcanoes, it would be inevitable for always having a danger of volcanic eruption. Putting up a geothermal power plant may give rise to minor earthquakes as a result of digging. To sum it up class, geothermal energy is helpful in our country. And that ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. I will appreciate it if you like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification button. Comment down if you want a shoutout for my next video. Love lots guys! Bye!